is that my roommate Richard had forgotten to put his chihuahua Rico Suave back in his cage. I personally have never liked Rico Suave. How can you love something that nervous? That rat-like thing is scared of everything. Believe me, I checked. He's afraid of paper clips. He's afraid of Barbie dolls. He's even afraid of chicken wings. He just sits there shaking all the time. So I tease him, right? I say things like, hey, Rico, what's the matter? Are you having another Vietnam flashback? Are you in the shit? Are you in the shit, soldier? <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. Anyways, I'm putting the cups in the dishwasher. And that's when Rico Suave decides it's time to get his revenge. I knew right away it was bad. When the sharp pain registered in my chest, I realized that I had impaled myself on the cutlery in the rack that had been placed sharp side up. At first I panicked like a fish caught on a hook. I reached for anything, everything, something to help me out of this mess. A phone would have been good. <laughs> What I got was a tiny whisk, a recipe card for summer gazpaccio soup, and an oven mitt. I challenge even MacGyver to come up with something handy for those three items. That's when I saw him. Rico Suave. He walked towards me and he sat right in front of my face. I looked at him, and he looked at me. I said, Rico, go get help, boy. And that's when I realized for the very first time, Rico Suave did not seem nervous. <laughs> he was shaking, but it's because he was laughing. <laughs> I wanted people to know that it was Rico Suave that did this to me, so I tried to write in my own blood on the floor. It was R, I, C, O, and then I got really cold. And then he reached in his evil devil paw and erased the O, so it looked like I was accusing my roommate Richard. <laughs> Poor Richard, framed by a chihuahua. <laughs> Thank you.